Hello everyone, my name is Michael Young, and this is Darkest Dungeon. Last time, we went into the ruins, we had brought an antiquarian, we did the full run in the dark, we made quite a bit of money. We also got a quest reward, All Saints Day, which means that the, the Abbey uh, stress relief activities are free. And our group is quite stressed out, our crusader did not have a good time on that run. And he also got syphilis. So I guess we're gonna we're gonna de-stress him before trying to cure and he's the caretaker is taking up spaces. Annoying. And he can only pray. He will only drink. Which is the lowest stress curing activity. That's a shame. Um I guess I'll send them in. And this guy needs to drink. I guess my my gambler did not want to come out of the out of the fight. Yeah, he's not ready to leave. He's on a hot streak. Okay. Uh, who else has stress? She doesn't have that much stress. I'll leave him alone, or her alone, or whatever. They're closed. Too baggy. I can't tell. Recruits, I don't know why I'm looking. Nomad wagon. Uh, another stun stone. Two accuracy stones. Which are not very good. Okay, I think that's fine. Let's see where we're going to go this week. Brigonet Pounder is offering the wounding helmet. We should probably go and clear that. But no, okay, we can finally go to the Warrens. They've been locking us out of the Warrens for quite a while. I think we've only done like two fights out of the past like 25 weeks. What week are we on? We're on week 24. And we've been there twice, I think. Because they keep on giving us these uh, veteran missions. So we better go do a medium. We'll go for that longevity eye patch, which we will never use. But what's this? Jester dice that we will never use. Yeah, not... Let's just, just double check to make sure there isn't something amazing somewhere else. No. Okay, we're going here. Who are we going to bring? Some lobies, ideally. So. Um, yeah, she can come right back out. I would like to bring him, but he's going to need like three weeks of work in order to... Did I not throw him into the... Maybe I didn't click it. I, sh I thought I was going to have him drink. Well, I can um, I can cure his syphilis instead. I guess I'll take. Oh, I don't have a I don't have a healer. I need a healer. Well, maybe I won't take a healer. Maybe I'll just make this a really quick run in the light, and we'll just nuke him down. I can see that working. Makes me nervous going without a healer, but we'll see if we can make it work. Okay, so she needs stunning. She gets a stun amulet and a stun stone. 50 extra stun, just from that, yeah. I need everybody to deal a lot of damage, but I'm not going to be in the dark, so there's no point. Where are we going? We're going to Warrens, so Beasts. Uh, I don't have a Beast one. That's a shame. Yeah, we're, we're kind of light on, uh, on range damage trinkets. Oh, well. We can just... Um, more speed on her? I'll give him the map and sure some speed she gets stunned she gets some ideally something that would give her more damage but I'm not seeing something I'll give her the healing skills so she can do clutch healing if, if need be 
I'll, I'll give her the Manslayer's Ring. Some of the enemies in there count as men, as human. But most of them, I think, are beasts. I guess, sure, Bloodthirst. Get our HP up a bit. It's a bit scruffy, but we'll make it work. Okay, let's do town stuff. So he would, he would only wanted a drink, right? I must have just not clicked the thing. Should I, let's go ahead and increase the stress recovery, just because that's all he'll do. All and dalliance await those who cross the threshold with coin in hand. Curing. See what problems are left. I think I've been pretty good at keeping up. I mean, there's things that are locked in that I just don't want to touch because it's not worth the money. But all the really bad things I think I've gotten rid of already. Pseudomania goes away. Um, Gambler's not terrible. Sure, let's get rid of Thin-Blooded. It's not terrible. Should I lock in on guards? 5,000 to lock that in. No, no. Okay. Upgrades. Sure, I think I might want to take Curing, just because I want people to have self-heals, since I'm not bringing a healer. So I, I'll, I'll do without the Wicked Hack. She can just Adrenaline Rush if need be. And I want him to... Uh, he's running second rank, so... He's mostly going to be a... A damager. That's... Uh, I can upgrade them even if I'm not going to run them. Um, but I don't need Blackjack. I want, I'll take Hound's Harry. Just if I can, uh, this stuff I need to do light taps on people. It's too damn, it's too, it's a bleed of two on the entire group with a high chance to hit. So, oh well. Um, she's only level one still? Hmm. I'll give her curing also. There's no point in taking blight to the warrants. They're all really, re really resistant to it. I don't really need stunning. Uh, I'm sorry, lunging. She gets upgrades. Definitely to the cure. That's what we're uh, we're hoping that will pan out right. Now what to run? I guess I don't need the bolas because we're gonna we don't need to deal a lot of control for this fight. We're going to have one person stunning and the rest will just nuke down. So we don't really need to have the ability to um, sustain. Okay. Let's go ahead and get one of the upgrades. We're not going to do anything with it yet, but... Fan the flames. Hold the metal. We are raising an army. Having so many deeds free is making me more and more tempted to get this furnace upgrade to make things cheaper. And I really don't want that. But, you know, I'm weak-willed. I need to... I need some help. <laughs> okay. We're ready to go. Oh, what's in here? We already checked. It wasn't anything good. So, Scruffy Run, no healer, no real control. This is definitely where we're going to have to meet the Collector. Warrens have more than, um, have more common obstacles than other runs, other areas. But they don't, they don't need that much food, because you, a lot of the Curio interactions give you food. So, but I, I need more than usual medical orbs, and I'll take a few anti-venom, because there's a lot of lighting. And a couple keys. Uh, and we are going to do this in the light, so we'll um, bring torches. Hmm. A couple bandages. I kind of want to go overboard just because no healer. So we'll make we'll we'll see how that goes.
But I love the Warrens. The Warrens has great music. To prosecute our war against the swine, we must first scout their squalid homes. It's big too. This is a medium run, and it has all these rooms. We have to explore half of them. I guess I'll go around like this and then come back. No, I'll go around to there. Then go like that, I guess. A bit messy. Not a really good path. No problems here. Another abomination cleansed from our land. <laughs> I really like this music. I, I've mentioned it a lot, but it is the case. And I can't attack the first ring. It's better in the dark, but, you know, I'm sure we'll have many dark runs in the warrants eventually. With impunity. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. But yeah, that's the difference between in the light and in the dark. 100 gold in a citri. In the last run, we were getting just crazy loot. I'm not touching that. That's almost always bad. There's a fight. <laughs> Precision and power. Okay. I'm gonna take out the middle. Another one falls. He's bleeding, right? So yeah, he's done. And Again, as the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. The slow death. So far, this is working out, but we've only fighting like spiders. So, where are the pigmen? Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. These nightmarish loot. creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Let's get rid of the treats, because we'll never remember to use them. And I don't want to get rid of anything else yet. I'll get rid of the citrine. Citrine's useless. Did we bring the ancestors map? We must have. Yeah, we did. Okay, he brought it. Books are bad, don't touch books. It's hard to remember to use torches after you do a bunch of dark runs. Um, but stress accumulates so slowly in the light. It's free torch, and I use the citrine. Up to 78, that's good enough. Okay, let's get some food. This looks appetizing, right? Hey, 12 food. I'll take it. Um, we don't need it. Okay. Now we got two... Two stacks of food, worth keeping in mind. Or spiders. Back to the pit. And I'll stun them both, and then they're dead next turn. Be gone, fiend. Yeah, once you're um, once you have a set of good trinkets and you've got a bunch of heroes that are upgraded to level two, these early runs they really stop being a challenge. Their formation is broken. It'll pick up again though, as soon as we dare to step into the veteran dungeons. Uh, unlocked, so it's a blight, I believe. Everyone has sixty. We'll give it a try. Just some. Portraits. I need more portraits, though. So let's get rid of the anti venom. Unlocked. 
unscouted, so this is a little dangerous. Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. I like that that uh that particular narration. These tunnels predate the earliest survivors. Or earliest whatever they are. Secret room. We'll get on the way back. Get that on the way back too. Here's a fight. Still no pigment. I mean, it's not that I'm complaining in particular, it's just it's unusual. Skeletons with clubs do not concern me. Those guys can give you diseases. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Can't bleed him though. Heal that right back up. Maybe I should be more willing to try these runs without healers. It seems to be going well. You don't have the sustain for like a boss, but a normal fight? The increased DPS means you can kill enemies a lot Remind faster. That overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Prevent incoming damage that way. Take the bit of gold. Another fight right here. More spiders. Oh, bad luck. No marks for you. So... Most of these are dead already, just from that bleed. This guy is still gonna survive, but that's fine. He'll, he'll last one extra turn. Let's heal up a bit. Oh, nice dodge. There we go. Bit of curing. A death by inches. Some deeds, and I'm actually. No, I can't just leave those behind. I was. Mm. I was about to say I was gonna leave them behind. We don't need to camp. We don't really. Well. Let's camp. Sure. Gathered close in tenuous firelight, an uneasy companion. We don't need any benefit from camping, so we'll just have quarter rations or whatever. And I want the speed buff, that's why I can't. And we have to prevent nighttime ambush, of course. Uh, she doesn't need damage, she's. We'll have her restrain, for sure. Night moves? Yeah. Extra scouting chance. This is I think we I think we're guaranteed a the scout light. if we're in the, the light. Promise now. of safety. Uh this is Warren's knowledge. This guy wants to go everywhere, except for here. So let's leave him alone. Cove Explorer. Nymphomania. Warren's phobe. So I should not give her this. I probably should have brought her here, but you know, do what you can. I uh, just got a buff. Increased damage until camp. Increased accuracy and crit. Yeah, that's fine. And now she has a speed of 10, so basically I can knock someone out of the fight at the very beginning. Pretty easily. No books. Nothing good ever comes from reading books like that. Now we'll go into the secret room and figure out what we're going to get rid of. 
Uh, what does she have? She has a, a minus two speed for restringing. So let's get rid of that. Bit of money. Stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Okay. Oh, a head. Dismiss's head. Finally. That's what I was waiting for. <clears throat> Dismiss's head is just a flat damage increase. Can she equip it now? Yeah, let's give it to her now. Over the, over the um, the damage versus humans because we haven't seen a human yet. Excuse me. Um, get rid of the herbs, and let's get rid of the excess food. Okay, we need to sort everything. That's fine. Uh, okay. We kept the shovel, I think, right? Yeah, okay. Okay. So it's not all rooms, it's 90% of rooms. So I can either go over here and get this and then not have to get the last one, or I can be forced to get the last one. I think I'm gonna go over. It's um, and then I'll skip these, the, I'll, I'll peek in, see what this curio is, then go around like that. Well, I have to fight this battle first. We can always drop our torches. I mean, we've been doing this in the light so much that it's gone. Ah, there's some pigment. So this one is just a beast. He's a... He's just a pig. This is a pigman. Where he's both a human and a beast. You can see under their name on their card it says human and beast. And I just unequipped the plus human. So that's, you know, a shame. <laughs> But this guy needs to die. Both of them do. Uh, this one will disease. He'll he'll ha he'll do stress damage on you and has a chance to um, give you a disease. This guy does group stress and he can mark. So they're kind of both terrible. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Uh, um, I'll try to iron swan him. No, that's a shame too. Well, this is setting up perfectly for a Hound's Harry. If, the, if they bleed, and they're not that resistant to bleeding. In fact, I think this is guaranteed. So that would be two damage, and it's going to hit for like two or three. Oh, I killed both of them right there. That's fine. Let's get rid of him. No crit. Yeah, we're in the light. The chance of getting crit is pretty low. Just have to slowly work your way through. Um, there's no point in stunning. But I can't hit him, so... What am I saying? Of course, that's the reason to hit him. The stun, because I can't hit the first round. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Dodge stone. I don't know if I have one of those. I don't really want one of those either. I mean... What's that? Reduce damage. Not more than anything else I've got. <laughs> well, I don't know what's in here. If there's two, I, if I had better scouting, I would get, get rid of the shovels and um, get the dodge stone. But as it is, can't. So that's. Oh wait, I was gonna peek. Uh, I don't have any more bandages. So, five stress damage for nothing. Books, can't use books. Couple traps. Now, back to where we began. Sometimes I wonder if, um, Here's a map. 
Looks like a full scout too, not just a uh, curia. Didn't, oh, it, just for a couple rooms. Sometimes I wonder if, if instead of the way things were set up, they instead made it um, where you had to go in and then get out, and so that was the that was the real the real stressful um, decision. Like right now, you're mostly about should I keep going or will I run out of light? But you don't have to worry about coming back. You can just kind of get to the end of the dungeon and then magically teleport back to the hamlet. But if it was all about, where do I say I've used up half my stuff so I have to go home? That would be more of a... more concerning to have to deal with that all the time. Let's see what this fight is. Nothing too bad. I hope we can get rid of him early. We are not going to be able to. He's dead next turn. Ew. You got a tapeworm. He got some of that in his mouth. So tapeworm makes him take up, use more food. Basically, it's an anti, um, anti bloodthirst drink. It actually forces some curio interactions too. If you run by like one of those dinner carts, he'll just say, "Oh, hey, some food," and you know, stuff his face with corpses. <clears throat> oh, that was a waste. But I got her to go sooner. Uh, knock him out. We're all still at full health. I mean, it's kind of crazy. Oh no, he's at 34 or 35. Eh, that's good enough. We don't need busts. As victories mount, so too will resistance. I should use these torches rather than just sit on. This is a shame. I wish I had kept some of my medicinal herbs because that would give you a um, a big damage buff. But without that, it, it it's foul tasting. Oh wow! I guess because the secret room counted as a special room, and this is already a very large, um, very large medium run. It gave me three free rooms instead of just the one or two that I was expecting. Let's go out here anyway. I mean, we're not... Nothing really is forcing us to head home right now. I'm a little inclined to, like, wander around and see if we can proc a collector fight or something. We have lots of food. Yeah. Well, two more food checks worth. This would be a good fight for a collector. Especially if we get a surprise. A good composition for a collector. Because uh, we can stun him, almost guaranteed, on that first hit, and then just nuke. Three of the barrels in a row. That's a shame. Okay, um... We're really well off still. I think I'm going to run back and get this fight. If we can make it there without running out of food. Darkness closes in, <clears throat> haunting the hearts of men. Lots of backtracking, but what can you do? We never thoroughly walked down this hallway. So let's go ahead and do that. Just for that stress heal right there from the trap. And a thing we're not going to touch. This is our third time walking into this hallway, I think. Food check. One more space. Well, there can be a food check in. Proc fight? No. <laughs> Here we go. No collector. Bunch of humans. 
And they're gonna do some damage to me, but probably not much stress, unless they get a bunch of crits. So I'm not too worried. Just watch out for those shanks. Guaranteed stun. And the fight's pretty much over. What's up to this box? What's in the box? This is how a life is taken. We don't need torches anymore. We don't need food anymore. Or anything. I do have bandages. So I can get that curia. Ooh. I bet okay. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. How did I not pour in blood? How did I not see that? Oh well. So extend it just a little bit longer. There's my last food. Now there'll be a food check right there. And we'll all suffer stress. Because this game hates you. Ooh, a fight! Just some spiders. A last chance to hear this music before proceeding. This expedition at least promises success. No food check? Good. And then we're gonna get that and then leave. Okay. Wealth More food. Measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Decent run. Got the. It's always good to get the trap trapezohedrons. Okay, let's go home. The swine folk's labyrinth may yet prove to be navigable. Another twenty thousand and forty-five hundred. Decent. A lot of crests. Uh, he got diseased. I forgot about that. He got tapeworm. Soft. Never good. And it crashed. Ah, well. This is a good time for the end of the episode anyway. So thank you everyone for watching. My name is Michael Young, and this is Darkest Dungeon.